Hello, hello, how are ya? Ryan J here. Thanks a lot for paying attention. It is Wednesday, April 22nd. So uh, that's good things. Uh, I hope you're healthy, um, happy, and your uh, mental health is well today I, I I hope you're doing all right you know your friends and family are okay you're okay uh, keep strong with the mental health during these times it's um, gotten a little bit tricky with uh, schedules being a lot of whack and you know it's just a different time um, I was struggling today to what I was gonna talk about coming up with a live It, um, it had been a couple of days since I've gone live, so I decided to uh, get myself a cup of coffee, um, go through some notes that I have notes all over the place, and uh, just relax. And lo and behold, something came to me, and I found it, and uh, this is going to be, I hope it's beneficial for you, and it could be very very key and important to the time we're in right now you know so and we don't have to go into that you know how different things are so uh i was really really cool i i was excited that i found this piece of paper that i had taken i don't know i probably jotted down these notes about six months ago or something like that and uh, it was during during a time in my life where um, I was in a mental health treatment center, and uh, you know for for alcoholism and just not being a very strong dude, you know uh, there was a lot of anxiety, there was a lot of depression, and the dark hole of the abyss of depression was really really. Uh, it was taking a hold of me. So during that, like, I com comprised these notes. And they helped me at that point in time in my life. And so I'm hoping and that they bring value to you as well. And just, like, key things to think about when... Uh, when we're going on our daily walk of life and and trying to keep a positive mindset and mind frame. And yes, we can't control all the circumstances or situations, but we can 100% control how we think about it. Okay, so with that being said, uh, let's get into my notes. Hmm, healthy habits to focus on. That's what I titled it. Eating healthy, okay, simple enough. Eating healthy, fruits, dark green veggies, uh, the proper amount of proteins, the proper amount of fats. Um, I highly recommend, I like to go more of the direction of unprocessed foods for myself um, and staying away from like uh, the bleached flours and and white carbohydrates. That's what I do personally uh, but eating healthy. All right, so So that's number one uh, Two exercise, you know, there has been especially within the last couple of weeks here I haven't taken more walks around my block in neighborhood than I have in a while. So uh, getting the steps in and being active and doing the push-ups and doing what you can with body weight exercises um, and getting your exercise in. Yeah, there are ups and downs in life and they're called squats and you can do them at home with no weight. So, throwing that out there. So exercise. Sleep. Getting quality sleep and quality rest and 
you know, it's recommended eight hours or something like that. I'm sure there are scientific studies, but I'm not a sleep expert guy. But I can tell you when I get a solid restful sleep and the difference um, <clears throat> in that sleep and how I feel the next day. So part of that for me recently has been like shutting off my electronics probably about a half hour to 45 minutes before I go to bed at night. So, you know, making sure that my phone isn't plugged in in my room, you know, uh, no, not too much TV time, you know, and those type of deals where the electronics kind of stimulate your brain and would reduce that quality of rest. Uh, right before bed, for me, is a good time to like pick up a book and read a book but I got a whole stack of books here I'm gonna share with you in a second so like how would I say it so like uh, not having the brain throttled up too much but more of a relaxing and meditating type practice before going to bed all right Oh, hey, and this kind of ties into it, meditation. So whether you have, um, you, can, you can Google how to meditate. There's YouTube videos, it's relaxing music, but how people meditate are different from each, every individual. You know, uh, the, I like the Calm app, I got it on my phone. Uh, it's it's a great. There's a free part of it, but then there's also um, also other parts to the app where you can pay, and it'll guide you through meditation. So look into meditating. Find yourself. A, there's hundreds of YouTube videos. You know, so check out it. Check out YouTube. Check out the app. Um, Try counting your breaths. That's another way to like slow it down, meditate by counting your breaths. So I would get into the, uh, I would notice myself when I was meditating that my mind was still just racing, still racing, still thinking of things, still thinking of situations, still thinking, just still thinking. But by slowing down and counting breaths, well then that's actually like an activity that I'm putting into place like one, two, and then when I inhale and exhale and counting the seconds, uh, that seemed to stop the whole racing brain syndrome. So meditation, it's beneficial. Um, highly recommend you look into that. Me. And here's another, here's another one that, um, another healthy habit to focus on. Me, I'm a big journal guy. I love filling up notebooks full of, full of my thoughts, my, my thoughts, ideas, experiences through the day. Maybe I had a uh, difficult conversation with another person. Well, then rather than lashing out and being all mean and not a very nice guy, uh, for me to express my feelings by writing them down in a journal, you know, that kind of takes it all away. And it's been very, very beneficial for me in my, my mental health. You know, so I like journaling. You may like it too. <clears throat> Listen to music. Okay, well that kind of, that's kind of a no brainer. Um, the amount of I don't really have a genre of music. I kind of pretty much enjoy all music, but you know whatever's fitting my mood at that time. Uh, yeah, listening to music. Here's one that applies to really the situation I was in when I wrote down these notes, and that's um, talk to a counselor. So I don't, so I'm thinking that through. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a counselor, it could be um, maybe 
somebody you highly, uh, maybe you think highly of them in um, a spiritual realm. So maybe like a priest or something like that, or a therapist. Um, taking that and applying it to social media now, because, well, let's face it, social media is here to stay, and I hope you've learned how to use it uh, for a benefit. I mean, you can't really go out and uh, talk to anybody these days or go anywhere. So f social media is another way to communicate with people. Now, there are a lot of um, Facebook pages and Facebook forums and um, private groups that you might be able to get inspiration, help, and um, just be able to voice out your what you're working through and hopefully somebody on the other end of that screen would be able to provide you provide you advice or a direction to look into and and how to how to just work work through it so i highly recommend checking out facebook groups so it doesn't necessarily have to be a counselor, a therapist, or clergy. You can find resources using the interwebs here. And isn't that kind of cool that we live in a time where that uh, you can do that? Um, focus on growing. Like, focus on being a better person than you were yesterday. Focus on that growth. So whether it's uh, eating more healthy, have an exercise, reading and meditating, journaling. Those are all healthy ha habits that will stack on top of each other to make you a better person. So let's say if you were to only improve 1% a day, you know, you're 1% you're better than you were the day before. Well, if my math sounds kind of correct, it would only take you a hundred days to be a hundred percent better. Do you follow that? Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments, you know, but it seems to make sense to me. Uh, so focus on growing. So focus on uh, healthy habits that that are going to make you a better person tomorrow. Reading self-help books. This is where my stack comes in. Uh, Napoleon Hill has good books. This one is Outwitting the Devil. My friend Kim, Kim Ward, sent this to me. Awesome book. Big Potential. This is by Sean Anker. Uh, How Transforming the Pursuit of Success Raises Our Achievement, Happiness, and Well-Being. And of course, you all know the secret. This is a, a feel-good book. Um, there's a lot into it when it's, when it's discussing like how you think of things. Um, I like it, I enjoy it, but uh, not enough action for me. And when I say action, it really doesn't give you too many action steps. It just kind of makes you feel good. That, that, uh... And, well, if all it does is make you feel good, then it serves its purpose. Here's a cute little book that I found on my shelf. Don't sweat the small stuff, and it's all small stuff. This is by Richard Carlson, Ph.D. Don't sweat the small stuff, and it's all small stuff. Simple ways to keep little things from taking over your life. Well, that seems like a pretty decent book. And then the behemoth of them all. This guy is like one of the foremost thinkers in this day and age. And this is uh, Jordan B. Peterson. Uh, he has excellent stuff. And this is 12 Rules for Life. Huh. Okay. 
Thank you, Jordan. And it's in a book. Here are the 12 rules. So I like reading. Now is a good time because I'm only, uh, I'm only imagining that you do have extra time. So go ahead, pick one of these up, get it. Um, if you can't go to the library or you don't have stacks of books in your house, uh, check it out on Kindle. You can also check it out on, maybe there's an audio version on YouTube. You know, yeah, it's not the same as holding a physical book and going through the pages, but serves the same purpose. You know, you're getting the knowledge, the ideas, you're getting uh, the content. Uh, go barefoot in nature. Well, there's something, there's something magnetic or maybe it's gravity or maybe there's some sort of mystic power that uh, is out in the, the atmosphere that uh, it's called grounding. You take off your shoes and your socks and you're barefoot and you're walking around in nature. Make sure it's nature and not on like Hennepin Avenue, downtown Minneapolis. All right, stay off the streets, watch out for glass, but go the nature route. So fields, um, yeah, grass, maybe your backyard. Uh, if, you, if your physical location is a beach, oh man, there's nothing better than walking barefoot in the sand. Uh, spend time connecting with friends and family. Now, that's kind of tricky, being as the situation we're in, but Zoom calls, FaceTime, using the technology at your hands to be able to connect with friends and family, just check in, text, hey, here's something, try the like my phone is actually made for making phone calls. I had totally forgot about that. Totally forgot that I could use it to actually talk to people. So use that, use the technology at your hands to connect with friends and family. Check in, hey, how you doing? Uh, how's your mental health? Is everything fine? You know, is there anything I could do for you? You know, that sort of, that sort of dialogue. All right. And in engaging in recreational activities. So, well, for me, I like to ride my bike on the trails. I like to ride my mountain bike, and I got a whole bunch of other different bikes. I like riding bike. That, for me, is an enjoyment. And uh, so I'm taking this time to get out there, put the pedals in, and, and ride bike. So whatever your fun is for you in a recreational activity, take this time to explore more of it. Uh, that's what I got for you today. Um, before I leave, now... Before I leave, right after this at, at noon central time, I'm going to be um, doing a watch party on my timeline for uh, the Rise Up Challenge. There has been so much good information that has come out of this Rise Up Challenge. Everything from mindset to being healthy to goals to it's more for, oh, can be for anybody, but it's there's been spirituality. There's been uh, so much information. Now, it is kind of business focused towards the small business owner, towards uh, entrepreneurs. Um, but don't let that dissuade you from the information that is present in the group. Um, if you're elastic with your ideas, it may make sense to you. And uh, yeah, that's what I got. And that's coming up at noon on Central Time on uh, my Facebook page here. So with that, I am out of here. You guys 
stay safe, stay healthy, make it an epic day.